Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. Today, it is time to do a lot of bosses and get 1kc alongside combat achievement tasks completed on as many bosses as possible. I started it off by completing every combat achievement possible on Bandos, and then I moved on to Zamorak, when out of nowhere, this happened. Oh! <gasps> No way, no way, no way, no way, that's like 50 mil by the way. Oh, I was just coming for like KCs. That is so good. Okay, so I didn't expect to commentate anything in God Wars. I just wanted to go in, complete combat achievements, and then I got Staff of the Dead. It is currently going for 47 million, which is, uh, yeah, kind of ridiculous. So we'll put it in the deposit box. Great rebuild if we die. I'm considering selling it and buying other things that I need, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. I got a sigil. Like what? I'm just killing regular aviances for the KC. This is the last boss I have to get kill on. How much is this even? It's one coin. I'm not picking it up. Okay, so <laughs> they're doing my world. I mean, I can... Ch uh, Australia? I need to get this done and I can't compete with a team. So let's take a look. Yeah, West Coast has a world, but look at this. Uh, uh, oh my God, look, do you see this? When you click... It needs to go over the ocean, bro, look. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to do it like that. Let's get it done. I don't know if he's waiting for the homies, but... Yeah, we're not gonna... We're, we're, we're gonna dip. We're gonna respectfully dip. There is no reason for me to stay. We got what we wanted, even though I'm smart with my bank keys, right? If you look at what I lose, none of this is worth crazy amount. I mean, this is 100k, 100k... Okay, this is actually worth a lot. Uh, this is nothing this is nothing like this is nothing this is a 1 million but it's still cheaper than ga for example but yeah i don't want to die i don't want to die and i don't need to die we walk away from the god wars dungeon with 117,000 points i think that's a successful night and now that i've killed every single one of the bosses i can assemble a frozen key i'm gonna go one more time into the dungeon and actually put this into the door so if i ever have anybody i can do next with it is unlocked Whilst it is still super early, I'm gonna go ahead and try to train my smithing up a little bit. Unfortunately, the best way for me to train smithing is to risk my entire account and have no food on me. So, luckily though, gold ores are going for only 60 each at the moment, so smithing is very cheap if I just don't die. Let's take a look. Is anybody here? Nobody's here. That's good news. Okay, I am going full risk. No food, no nothing in my inventory, just the teleport out. If I get hit, I am dead. There is 70 smithing. I just committed to playing recklessly right now. And there is 80 smithing. I probably will have to do this in like waves because I don't know, my heart, it's hard to like not have any food on you. Because at any point, anybody that comes here, if I'm not paying attention, that hits me, I'm instantly dead. Got no way of surviving. There is 82 smithing and we should be getting agility at the same time as well. There it is, big 90 agility to come with it. We can now do our doom course, but we've already done it. I do believe getting 99 will be possible just doing all the other activities. I mean, this entire smithing journey, if I do decide to go for 99, should give us a bit of agility XP to go with it. And then the whole room crafting journey should also give me agility XP to go with it. So I do believe we will be seeing 99 agility on the account at some point in the near future. And here's level 87 smithing. Now I'm officially out of uh, ores. Well, I have a little bit more, but I don't think it's gonna get me a level. So we made nearly, what, six, seven thousand bars in the process, and we're now 87. I guess we're kind of like a third way to 99 right now, so not too bad. So with smithing temporarily out of the way, I am once again searching for ways to get points. Of course I can get points by just simply getting 99 attack, defense, prayer, stuff like that. But what I'm working on right now is to get a mossy key so I can fight Briopta and that once again should be a decent amount of points. We'll do that with Briopta, we'll do the same thing with Obor as well. And I'm actually getting very good attack XP per hour here in very mediocre gear, just using sulfur blades, nothing special to go with it. Consistency, fighter, and uh, that's basically it. There we go. I was wondering when that's gonna drop. That's our first mossy key. Let's uh, go ahead and do Briofta. Alright, time for a Briofta kill. We're gonna try to do all of these tasks at once. Let's see if we can uh, make it work. Well, I got that kill done, but I didn't... <laughs> 
I didn't get the other task done, unfortunately, I think. Slow dev, Briofta, novice, preparation, fighting as intended. There's so many things we just completed. But there is one missing, I think. Apparently, I didn't have protect from magic activated. Uh, but I guess we'll kill it five times and then it's fine. And yeah, the small dudes never spawned, so I didn't do that task either. That's a little bit awkward, but let's move on to hill giants next, I think. And there is 98 attack and 124 combat. Honestly, I should have had all of these 99 such a long time ago already. But we've been doing so many other things that, uh, yeah, a lot of stuff is instanced as well. And you just don't get XP on those skills. But that's alright, because we are going for a giant ski right now. Ah, oh, my, you are kidding me, no? But instead, we got a giant champion scroll. Which, if you don't know, is a 1 in 5,000 drop. Hey, there we go, finally. Okay, got the giant ski. Now we can go kill Obor and hopefully do all the tasks that come with it. Okay, so all we need to do is spray range and be on the corner basically and that's it I think. I would need to kill it whilst he's frozen so it would be very awkward if he gets unfrozen right as I kill him. Maybe if I wait. Ah, uh, that would be really awkward if that doesn't work. Let's see. I mean, it looks like we got just about all of them. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and double check. No, it did- ah, uh, come on, bruh. Alright, so yeah, this one didn't work, it's not that big of a deal. We need to kill five of them, but I don't think I ever will do all of those. Still, we are just collecting three points right now. I do need to do all the wilderness bosses still. I don't know why I'm procrastinating them so much. Maybe I do it right now. I don't- I don't know, man. Do I do it? Do it? I, I really should do it. L let's go ahead and do it. Okay, that's one. I didn't even know that the guy had combat achievement tasks as well. Okay, that's the second one down. And we also got some diaries, I guess. And now I need to kill Scorpia. How do I get to Scorpia? I guess I can teleport. I, I don't think I need to do it without leaving Wilderness or something like that. So I think I am allowed to tab. Alright, and that Scorpia down should be diary for completing all three mini bosses. I don't know why it says current stage 2 though. Crazy archaeologist is this. Okay, so I guess it did not count. Very weird, very weird. Uh, whilst I'm here, there's more tasks I could do though. New barrage spot just opened. Uh, but anyways, that was a task. And then I think I want to kill this thing as well. I'll come back here with range. I know range is going to be much easier. But now I'm confused. Why did I not get a task completion? So I guess we have to kill Chaos Fanatic one more time. Because for some reason it did not work. Okay, let's see if it works now or not. Ah, see, it says stage 1 again. Like, what? I don't know, something is not really working how it should, I think. Or maybe I'm missing something very obvious. Alright, let's see, so this should be stage 2 now. Okay, I'll try to do it again by running there. I won't even TP out or anything. That is very odd. Okay, if this won't work now, then uh, I don't know. Then I got no clue. There's no way, right? Oh my god, I don't think that guy is geared to PK, I think he just wanted to get a kill. Oh, the jump scare that was. Will it do it now? There we go, now it finished it. I'll st I say lol. Okay, let's get out of here, that's all I wanted to do temporarily. Uh, I need to change sigils before we do other things. Okay, I have a very bad feeling about this, but I have to do it at some point, because if I don't do it, then I will never do it, so let's just send it. What is there to lose, right? Okay, nobody here, that's a plus. Okay, let's just try, hopefully nobody's inside. Okay, that's good. Alright, there's the bear down. I hate him. Now I need to kill the other two, and I don't know how to do them, but I'll figure it out. I hope range will work on this. I think I see what's going on. Okay, note to self, range is absolutely atrocious on the big Venonatus. This kill is taking so long I have to double overload. <laughs> yeah, never do this with the with range, I swear it's a uh, complete disaster. Come on, just hit so I can get out of here. <laughs> oh boy. There we go, just one more hit and this is done. Very long kill because I went with range for some reason. I really thought with meticulousness I'd be hitting, but never mind, I guess. So there it is. The Wait, yeah, that's stage two and now I just need to kill Varian as well. Okay, let's hope that this one also doesn't have people in. Let's see. Looking good. Like, look how fast this guy dies compared to the other dudes. It's like not even funny. 
I mean, he does have two phases to be honest. But still it's so much nicer when you're actually hitting stuff. The only problem is I can't really be training my attack. I have to train with the crush. I think the best part about this is infinite run energy. In main game, you can't really be doing this the way I'm doing it right now with a lot of running. But that's it. Nice and fast. Please be the task done as well. There we go, Wilderness Elite Diary Completion. Now I need to do the single variant of the bosses, which should be much simpler. I might even try to farm them for a bit longer, we'll see. Point-wise, very good points for these bosses. If you are enjoying today's episode, consider subscribing. For some reason, funnily enough, the multi-bosses, the ones that I just did, the harder variety, are worth less points than the single bosses, the easy variety. So let's go ahead and see if the bosses are very camped. But yeah, I'll do one kill of each of the single ones right now as well, just to maximize my point output. I'm kind of tempted to do 75 of each of these because of how fast they seem to be killable. No way I got Sigil of Aggression of a wolf. That's the one I was missing, that is so good. That's like 8 mil by the way. And we get bonus points from just getting the kill. 100 points, I'm banking this, this is like such a good sigil. One of the few ones of the really good ones that we haven't gotten yet. Man, today is going really good. Okay, Artyo also defeated. Now I just need to kill the spider and I've basically milked all the possible points, I think. Definitely do spider with melee as well though. Forgot to change the sigil. I'm doing it with melee, but I forgot to... Bruh. And even without sigils, it's so strong, man. This axe, bro. This zombie axe goes hard. And there we have it. Okay, so all the wildy bosses are down. Next on the list is both KBD and the other wildy thingy that I haven't done yet. So let's do that next. Also, point-wise, we're ranked 24 right now. We're getting a lot of points by just doing this one boss at a time, basically. Alright, before I go to sleep today, I want to be done with the wilderness bosses. So let's try KBD. I have an odd suspicion that uh, this might be a little bit annoying to do. But uh, it also doesn't give that many points, so maybe it's gonna be nice to do. Hey, nobody's in, let's go. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to kill it whilst praying melee. Oh fuck, I forgot anti, whatever. I'll just kill like one anyways. Okay, melee is still on. Oi, 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 look at how many tasks we just completed. Ho <laughs> A lot, and that should be a ton of points. Yeah, not bad. Oh, a new one already spawned. I didn't get to check like what other tasks to do. But because I think there's not that many to do, I think I've done everything. We just kill one more and teleport out before we die. Once again, we are in multi. We're always in multi. By itself, the boss doesn't give you that many drops, but through all the combat achievement tasks, the points add up. It's a shame this gives so little points. It would be kind of a fun boss to farm, I feel like. Yeah, I've basically done all of them aside from killing it 10 times and killing it 25 times. Oh, but it auto-completed this, so maybe killing it 25 times would make sense. Perhaps for the future, uh, for now, there's one more wilderness boss I would like to kill. All right, the last boss before I go to sleep is going to be good old Chaos Elemental. And just like that, we've also completed a Hoarder task, but most importantly, we just got the points for completing the actual thing. So I don't need to kill another for now. The points are refreshed, 200 points just to do that very quickly. I will go to sleep and tomorrow there's so many things I can do. We're talking Vorkath, we're talking Zolra, I have a million things. I still haven't done TOA, easy, medium or hard. I still haven't done TOB, hard mode or easy. I have not done any chambers. There is so many points I can get, but I'm still searching for somebody to do it with. All of that content can be soloed, but it's a content that I've never soloed before and uh, I'm more comfortable doing in a team. So hopefully we'll be able to find somebody to do it with. For now though, I need a little bit of sleep. I had a beautiful sleep, woke up and decided to do the clue scrolls. After this, I'm gonna finish farming as well. Let's start off with a medium. We get an armadil miter, maybe useful for god wars, potentially. And we got a hard casket as well for an ancient coif, which could be useful for next. Okay, I mean, not the best, but we'll take it. We also get a couple of points through this. We're now in 119.9, almost 120,000 points. I think we can definitely reach that very shortly here. The very first thing I want to do today is get Hespori speed tasks completed. 36 seconds or 48 seconds. I'm going to be using the Fighter Consistency and Swashbuckler with Scythe in order to hopefully complete this. I don't know how realistically doable this will be, but I think we can give it a fair shot. I might need to reset this a few times. 
Oh, I hit too fast. I'm gonna finish this simply because I have a lot of Hesporis and uh, I can do more of it in the next few days. I don't think it's gonna be a 30 second kill though. Yeah, it was the... Ooh, I, okay. I was two seconds off. Yeah, that first hit, that hit 0, 0, 0 that I clicked too soon, I guess. Uh, that's the only thing that needs to change. Not bad at all. My favorite part about doing the last farm run is I don't need to replant any of the trees. 700k away from a level. Okay, consistency in farm runs paid off. Let's check one of these mahogany trees and there is level 99 farming on deadman mode. Beautiful. I have all these trees here, man. I don't get any XP. Sadness. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy to have this 99 out of the way. Now I don't need to worry about sigil of nature and non-stop flicking it on because the only thing I want to do with farming is to kill three more Hesporis, which should be easy enough to do. These are how the stats look like at the moment, 2058 total, rank 7 overall, and rank 26 deadman points. If I refresh my deadman points, we're now in 120 thousands. Beautiful. I'm trying to come up with a solution as to what to do next, and in the meantime, I'm just making some fires. I have some really easy skills on really low levels that can be very decent points. And originally, I thought I would just do Winter Todd because you also get a decent KC by doing it, but doing Winter Todd alone sounds like no fun at all. I might do 1kc just so I get a point, but I think I'm just gonna get my fire making up manually, burning the best logs I can. There's 70 fire making, meaning I can now with plus 5 boost burn some magic logs. That should speed it up by quite a lot, but it's also gonna be fairly expensive. Yeah, I'm not sure how long I'll be fire making for, but let's make a 75 be like a goal for now. Here's 76. Oh, apparently I missed the 75, my bad. But I also got to 89 fletching and I ran out of darts. I'm gonna use all these logs, might as well while I have them. 82 fire making, I'm officially out of logs. I do believe it's gonna be time to give Vorkaf a little bit of a shot right after this inventory. The gear in question at the moment, we actually look a little bit like a snack. We're going in in full Varax, D-Boots, Sears Ring, because I don't have Berserker Ring and it is what it is. Uh, Fury, Osmotan Fang, that was only like 10 million, and uh, yeah, no crossbow, no nothing. I do need to take a look and see what tasks I could complete. I know Vorkath has a lot of them, I think the play is to complete all of these. I think out of all of these tasks, the most annoying ones are the perfect kills. So I need to do 5 perfect kills in a row without getting hit of any of the special attacks. I think that is what I should focus towards, alongside doing 10 of them without leaving the arena. I think I'll start off with that. Later on down the line, I probably will change sigils around a little bit, but we're gonna start off with Spash Buckler for faster attack speed restoration and formidable fighter. So I'm not going with titanium and we'll see how much damage I will actually take. I'm also using extended super antifier, so I think I just need to protect from magic, and that should be all we gotta do here. Okay, that is the first kill. Let's see the points. 120 into a bunch. Okay, I guess that was one of the... Ta I forgot a looting bag. Yeah, I definitely want to be looting this stuff, so let's go and hit the bank here. You can make an amazing money at Warcraft at the moment. I changed my inventory around a little bit while I'm going for the 10 kill trip. We're not gonna go with Fighter, we're just gonna go with Titanium, make sure we take very little amount of damage, and finish all 10 kills without a problem. Ooh, also, I think I could change my amulet, right? I think I could run the Salve amulet. Okay, that's one perfect kill. I need to get a lot of these. Oh man, the loot. The loot is beautiful. Ooh, this is one of the drops that's extremely good. The Dragon Bolts. 98 of them that sells for almost a million and I now have three perfect kills I just need two perfect kills more and we are very happy Okay, unless I did something wrong, which I don't think I did This should be a grandmaster task completed for five perfect kills in a row Let's take a look There it is big dodging the dragon perfect and this gives us a ton of points. We're now on 121,000. Okay, so points are actually starting to fly in we got an elite clue as well. My goal was to kill... Oh, that's an easy elite clue as well, so definitely keeping that one. The play here is to try and kill five more this trip, so we can complete another Grandmaster task. I think I can also do another task in this, well, kills of 10, and that is just to kill it without using prayer. So I'm literally just not even gonna pray. I'm not sure why I decided to do this right now in the middle of a 10 kill trip, but let's see if it worked. I definitely didn't use a prayer point. Yeah, Fateless Encounter, but now I'm Venom, then I need to get one more kill. So I think we're gonna respectfully have to use Sanfuse here. Which is very annoying, but I have to do it because I need to do... Oh, I need to do two more kills. Okay. Okay, and that should be the Grandmaster task completed. Please, so I can go out. There it is. Extended Encounter as well completed. Let's pick up a lot of this loot 
and uh, bring it to safety. Wow, that's worth a lot of money right here. If you ever wondered what money looks like, look at the looting bag full of cash. These Dragon Balls are gonna sell for good money and then obviously inventory complete full as well. Points are also skyrocketing because all of this gives a ton of points. So I'm very happy with this. Definitely gonna finish all the CAs on Vorkaf. Let's move on to the next batch. Oh, what? There is a breach happening there in the Warriors Guild. <laughs> I have this clue scroll. I'm not really participating in breaches no more, so let's wait in the Grand Exchange for two more minutes for the breach to end. I was like, why is there so many people there? Uh, but yeah, I want to do this clue scroll before continuing, simply because if we get more clue scrolls whilst we do the Vorkath, it just simply makes sense. Alright, then everybody ended their breach, and we are gonna do a clue scroll. Hey, we got a casket, nice. I can open this and then return to Vorkath, get a bunch of points from it as well, very good. Alright, then here goes nothing. Ooh, wait, huh? Archaeus scarf, onyx bolt tips, some sweets, and the dragon necklace. I mean, <laughs> we'll take the sweets. I feel like sweets could be a fun thing to take into the multi, but everything else is a disaster. Okay, it is time to go back to Vorkaf, and I'm looking into what other tasks I need to do right now. Killing a spawn without using Crumble the Undead, I hope a bolt can take care of that. And hitting the Vorkaf 12 times during the Acid Run, I think I can do that with the Scythe actually. Alongside Formidable and Consistency. That's kind of my plan, I'm just gonna do one kill like this with Scythe, I hope it's gonna be fine, I don't really know what to expect. Okay, I don't have Titanium right now, so I need to be a little bit careful. So this is the first one that I wanna see if I can do. One bolt, two bolt... Okay, didn't really work this time around. I need to hit the be- Oh my! Okay, I don't have titanium, right. Don't forget about that, I guess. Okay, let's see if I can do this one. Boom. 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 There we go, we did this one at least. Okay, very peculiar. I didn't get the kill with the crossbow, so I'm gonna just try to do one more kill here. Even though my inventory is a bit, uh... Not looking too hot, let's put it that way. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna get the speed kills though, to be honest. Because I'm not getting that good of a time. Maybe meticulousness, I don't really know. I definitely need to bank here though. Maybe I need like a stronger range setup actually. Market is ridiculously volatile right now. A lot of people are swapping out of deadman mode because there's only 3 days and 13 hours left. And I managed to snipe a dragon hunter crossbow for 3 million on the grand exchange alongside an archer's ring for 1 million. So we now have ruby bolt ease and diamond bolt ease. I can't be using dragon bolts, they're way too expensive. And we're gonna try to get a speed task with this weapon and these bolts. And Gunslinger, Meticulousness, and I'm not sure about Restoration. I feel like I could probably change this one out. I'll see how it feels, honestly. I'll see how it feels and we'll see if it's doable. Time to beat is 54 seconds. Let's give it a shot. There we go, finally. Okay, that's an annoying one out of the way. We got the Speed Chaser, 115. We didn't get the fastest, fastest. Okay, I think what I will do is I will make my own... Dragon bolts to see if that does the job a little bit easier. If I get it here, ah, uh, see, one hit too slow. I need to do it before this animation goes off, and then I think we do the speed task. But because I didn't get it in that hit, then all of this is like excess time. And even then, it was 111, so my PB pretty much. Gonna be using those dart tips to hopefully finish up my fletching as well. Oh, what? What is this? Dragon bone necklace? I don't think this is useful, unfortunately, I'll be honest. But we're on 30 KC, I'm trying to get to 50 today. And we're gonna bank here and we're gonna try to get rid of restoration and put another damaging sigil here. And see if we can do this speed task. I have been procrastinating this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the punching kill as well right now. For this one, arguably one of the most annoying tasks for Vorkath, I'm going with Formidable Fighter Meticulousness and Titanium, hoping to hit quite often, hoping for this to proc, and then hoping to not take too much damage. I feel like there's ways where you can take different sigils as well, and it would be perfectly fine. Dude, I hit 23s with a fist. 26 max hit with a fist! Okay. I can't imagine how annoying this task is on a main game, when you don't have the sigils. Okay, another Grandmaster completed. Beautiful. So now, only thing we need is we just need a speed kill. So, oh, I got a Ruthless Ranger Sigil. 
from that. Uh, nice. Yes, Robert is lending us a Dragon Hunter lens in hopes of us being able to do the speed task. So shout out to Robert, go subscribe to him, let's finish this task. Robert lent us uh, a lens, but I can't use it. And in order to use it, I need to complete Typo 1i Trio. Plus, I need to learn it from the Barbarians. So I need to do some questing right now. There is Typo 1i completed. Oh my god, thank you. I had to do this anyways. Because I wanted to train my cooking through doing Karamba ones. So for that, I need to speak to every brother and fully unlock this and then we're chilling. Okay, there we go. We've unlocked everything. Let's uh, learn how to make a Hasta as well. There we go. Elite task. Okay. Now we have the lens. We have the setup. It's a bit scuffed setup, I'll be honest. But formidable fighter, meticulousness, titanium. Let's see if we can make it work. Hmm. The kills are slower than with the Dragon Hunter crossbow. There we go, ladies, gentlemen, last kill of the day. Vorkath's head, beautiful. And with that, we also completed Vorkath Veteran. We didn't get the RNG for the fast kill yet, but I'm still gonna kill 50 more, and hopefully we get the RNG in the future. All right, finally, let's speak to Ava. Ava's assembler. This is gonna be a big upgrade from the accumulator. And apparently that was a task. But this is also what I'm gonna be ending the video for today. We are ending this episode as a rank 26, so close, yet so far away from the front page. But not only that, our overall is rank 5 at the moment. So hopefully in the next few days we can secure a spot as a top 25 Deadman player. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Catch you guys tomorrow with another video. Have a good one and bye bye.